In 2021, two people were driving in a Tesla in Houston, Texas, when all of a sudden, the car went off-road and hit a tree. The Tesla immediately caught fire, and sadly, both the driver and passenger were killed. The firefighters on the scene tried to put out the flames, but strangely, the electric batteries in the car continued to ignite. It took the firefighters 4 hours and 23 gallons of water to put out the fire. That's enough water to fill up a swimming pool. It shouldn't take that long to douse a burning car. And honestly, that raises some questions about the lithium batteries that are currently being used in electric vehicles. The chemicals currently used in lithium ion batteries are highly flammable. And these batteries are still far from efficient. These two issues are driving a need for the next generation of batteries, solid state batteries. If you remember, when COVID-19 hit, it started a race between the pharmaceutical companies worldwide. Even the governments participated in that race on who would create the COVID vaccine first. It's basically the same thing happening here, except with solid state batteries. Companies like Ford, BMW, Hyundai, and Toyota, just to name a few, are developing this new generation of batteries. Even governments are racing to develop solid-state batteries. So far, it looks like Toyota may be the closest one to developing the first solid-state batteries. Records show that Toyota has over 1300 patents related to solid-state batteries. Governments all over the world are pumping billions of dollars and encouraging the use of electric vehicles. They are even offering incentives and tax credits to convince consumers to buy electric cars. That being said, cars with gas engines are still dominating the car market. Electric cars make up only 3% of the cars worldwide, and it doesn't look like it's going to change very soon. It may take decades to see a big shift. Many people are not yet convinced that the electric vehicles are the way to go, and it may be largely due to the battery. First, the cost of replacing a battery on these electric vehicles will run you about $20,000. Second reason, the charging time. On average, it takes 10 hours to charge electric car at home, and it takes about 1 hour to charge it at supercharging station. That's still a lot of time compared to gas engines where you can just fill up your gas tank and continue on in 5 minutes or less. Third reason, the driving range and efficiency. After waiting all of these hours for your car battery to charge, there is simply not enough range between charging times, and sooner than later, you are going to find yourself needing to charge the car again. And keep in mind that any accessories you use, as well as the AC or heat, will reduce the car range as well. Fourth reason, safety. People still have concerns about the safety of the lithium ion batteries because they are highly flammable. For these reasons that I listed above, there really is a need for the next generation battery, which is more reliable, safe, and efficient. That is a solid state battery. This battery will solve most or even all of the lithium battery's current problems. It's not highly flammable, nor does it contain these chemicals or liquid electrolytes. It has solid electrolytes, and all of its components are solid, making it much safer. These newer batteries will be smaller in size, lighter in weight, and will be far more efficient. They will also offer longer driving range and faster charging time. To top it all off, the solid state battery could be even cheaper than lithium ion batteries. For gas engines, it took decades of development and improvements until we saw the most efficient engines come out in the 90s. It's the same scenario here. It will take years, if not decades, before we see the complete product. It's a waiting game, but it will pay off because these batteries will change the world. And that's my friends, is why there is a war going behind the scene. Who will be the first to cross the finish line? 
stay tuned for more updates and please like the video and subscribe to the channel it's completely free